Hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. And for all of your manifestation manifestation needs, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. It will be listed in the description box below. Okay, this is for all the Sagittarius. This is a bonus for all the Sagittarius. Thank you for so, showing so much love on the last videos for the Sagittarius. I appreciate that. That's why y'all are going to be the ones that get the bonus. Thank you so much again for all the Sagittarius. I'm going to do two bonus bonuses um, this week, and you are one of them. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and ground for all of the Sagittarius. All right. Let's get some messages from Spirit on what's crowning this reading. And I just led to read this. I have some quotes. These are all Maya Angelou quotes. This is what it says. First best is falling in love. Second best is being in love. Least best is falling out of love. But any of it is better than never have been in love. By Maya Angelou, rest in peace to her. This is very true. So this is about some type of love situation. This is very true that it's like once you have this feeling, it's hard to forget but at least we've had it, right? Because a lot of us are gone and never even experienced that type of love because people may have experienced love within their family or friendships or things like that, but it's sad whenever nobody really had that companionship and didn't, never got that. All right, so let's get into it. Sagittarius, let's cut, I saw milk and honey. Let's see though. What is crowning this reading for the Sagittarius? Please and thank you, ancestors, Holy Father, Spirit guides. Speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Truth be told. All right. What else, please and thank you, Holy Spirit? Spirit guides, ancestors. Look, it came out again. <laughs> Remember, I just said I saw milk and honey. That was meant to come out. Milk and honey. So this person really is like the rainbow. They're, they really are just everything to you. They're basking in it. You're basking in it. And by the book, the number 11. This could be definitely be a twin situation. All right. Let's put some tarot on it. I love that message from Maya Angelou. Miss Angelou. Yeah, it's definitely turned into one of our ancestors. Taught us a lot to the community. A wonderful poet. All right. Sagittarius. Six of Swords. We have somebody moving away from turbulence. They're trying to move towards karma water, waters. Judgment. We have the judgment here. Um, somebody's being judged for some pack, past actions that they may have done. They're trying to reevaluate a situation. Um, they may be going through a spiritual awakening. Awakening, they're trying to change. They're hoping for a second chance right now. They are hoping for a second chance. Because they see you the right over the milk and honey. They see you as very vibrant, magnetic. Um, they know that you're determined, generous, popular, ambitious, goal-oriented. But they have this self-imposed prison that they put themselves in, um, Eight of Swords. Um, they know that they're going to have to be honest to bring on change. For change to occur. Yes, Sagittarius. What else? What else? What else? What else is this person doing? They're trying to calm. They're, they're getting away from something. Can I get some more information on what are they getting away from please and thank you we have the hermit um this person is going going um within they're trying to find inner guidance either inner peace they're soul searching they're on a, a journey of self-discovery a spiritual quest they're doing a lot of meditating and um resting right now because they have a lot of burdens so yeah this is what this person is going through they have a lot of burdens we have the tens of wands ten of wands they need to um get reach out to help um Reach out for help. They need somebody to uh, help them. 
and they don't want to reach out to you. They, they're trying to reach out. They have so much shit on their mind. They're carrying heavy burdens. They're trying to get through that. They're pushing through. What else, please? And thank you for the Sagittarius. They're trying to gain control. We have the King of Pentacles. They're trying to um, gain control, power, discipline. Um, they're trying to get their money up. They may have lost money in this situation. What else? Then we have the Fool. They're in their full energy. They do want new beginnings. Um, they may take a spontaneous move towards you. Um, they they know that it's gonna have to take. They're gonna have to take a leap of faith. Uh, they may be kind of naive. Ace of Wands because they do see a new cycle with you. They have will and determination. But like I said previously, they have a lot of shit that they're going through. What else? Strength, but they do have strength, and strength is what you need to subdue your inner demons. Um, they do have courage. They're gonna take action. That's good. Finally, right? Take some action. But I don't know if this action is towards you or towards working out that shit. Is this acting towards Sagittarius or is it towards working out? <clears throat> they definitely see success and happiness with you. Um, they're gaining clarity. Can I get some more clarification on if this success is, or they're working on this to come towards you or are they working on themselves right now? For Sagittarius. Are they working on this? Okay, three of cups. They see a celebration with you. They're working on it to come towards you. Because they see a celebration with you. We have the Three of Cups. They see uh, y'all are friends first. Um, take it how it resonate your friends. Um, but they definitely see a celebration. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. They know it's going to take consistent effort. Um, like I said, they're trying to get their shit together right now. They um, they know that you're very secure and you're in your business. You're in your boss your boss mode. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, see, like I said, they're going through some type of financial hardship. Um, they're trying to move on from old situations that are no longer serving them. They may have been holding back from you before, and they try to act like they wasn't holding back from you. But you knew, you could felt it. They were holding back from you. What else, please and thank you? What else, please and thank you for Sagittarius and this love thing? This situationship, this twin flame, this relationship, this celebration, whatever you want to call it. Let me go through the cards one more time. Anything else? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck is definitely on this side. There's been some ups and downs. There's been some um, transitions. There's, but there's going to be some movement, some progress. There's a turning point here. Um, there's opportunity to change. We always have free will, so it's up to them. It's up to y'all if you're going to take this opportunity or not to change. But they have it here. They have the Wheel of Fortune here. And they are in their full energy, so they may take that risk and go ahead and leap on and discuss everything that needs to be discussed, get it out in the open so they can go by the book so they can so they can start off with trust, you know, having to build this back over from scratch because some trust has been lost. But we did have truth be told, so maybe they're willing to go ahead and tell you the truth about this, about what's been going on with them, why they've been leaving you up in their head because they've been so up in theirs and they a lot of shit they've been going through. And because that's because they see the milk and honey with you. They see everything with you. Okay, Sagittarius? Leave it in the comments how it's going, what's going on with your situation. I love to read the comments. I'll try to um, at least acknowledge every comment. All right? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to get your energy in. For, again, to get all of your manifestation needs, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. It will be listed in the link in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.